guys are well. Hi. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Laura. Hey, Marjorie. Hope you guys are well. Lexi and I thought we could just do a live this morning and uh, talk about some releases that have been going on and what we're excited for, what we're meant. <laughs> Not excited for it. What do you think, Lex? Yeah, I think let's start with Hermes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> let's start. Who so, wants to go? I have to say, I well, I'm glad I didn't end up, you know, my color wasn't available for the bomb. So I'm glad I, I haven't gotten that. I think I'll pass on that. Okay. What do you think about the powders? I actually really like the powders. I really like the powders too, but I have to say, I don't love the highlighter. Oh, yeah. I feel well, like it's hard think... to get. Go ahead. Like, it's just not that pigmented you know like you have to you know what i mean like yeah not that i want a super pigmented highlight but i feel like i have to really press on the brush to get up color mm -hmm. does that make sense yeah no that makes sense um yeah so but i'm really I liking the power like that well i like that normally too um but i don't know like i feel like i can't always see it yes yeah. <laughs> so. no i i see that I see that. Yeah. Okay. So I like it, but it's not a love. Okay. Yeah. My balm was a huge disaster. <laughs> it was awful. Like, I wish I could send it back. <laughs> it's that bad. <laughs> like, and I don't really like send a ton of stuff back or anything, but I'm like, this is terrible. Thank you, Daphne. Hi. How are you? Whoops. I'm like dropping stuff over. Okay. What's next, Lex? Well, I think maybe the Chanel lipsticks. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, mine are down, are mine up here? Mine are downstairs, actually. Oh, I have mine here. I haven't Most of them. review on them yet, but spoiler alert, I absolutely love these lipsticks. And yes, they're pricey. Yes, you're not going to get like, you know, you're getting less product for the price, blah, blah, blah. I get it. Like, I totally get that. And that can deter a lot of people, right? From, but the formula is really good. Like, maybe top three for me. I think the formula is fantastic, also. I'm really enjoying the formula. I, it's, kind of what I wanted the Rouge Coco Blooms to be, but those just never quite got there. Um, uh -huh. You know, those are nice for their own thing, but you know, they don't keep that glossy finish. They don't, they, they feel a little oilier on the lips in my opinion. Um, I feel like those are more of what the Rouge, these are what the Rouge Coco Bloom looks like when you first apply it, but not 30 minutes later. Like they go away. Yeah, the Rouge Coco Blooms go away. Like the pigment stays, but it becomes more of like a matte stain on your lips. Right. Whereas these don't. And I really like that. I have to say, though, my biggest pet peeve with this, aside from the fact that, yes, it's very small. Um, but I also feel like you're not using a lot of product to get the color that you would normally get. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't think that balances out. But... I hate the fact that I cannot tell what color it is until yes. I pull it out of the case. Thank you. I that drives not, me insane. I could Why not. couldn't they have printed it here? It makes exactly. no sense. I didn't know where to look. I'm sitting here going, where on earth is the color? Like, and then I pulled it out. That's yeah. so annoying. And I personally think that all refills should be able to be used without a case. Because if all these companies are claiming that this is part of their environmental sustainability and all of that, then people who are really environmentally conscious don't want a case. <laughs> they will use just, you know, a little, here, I'll let me show you the Dior. They have, um, oh, I know I have a white cap somewhere, but you know, it comes with like the white cap yeah. on here, um, like this, right? Like, like the Suku. Right. You know, if they're really working on environmental consciousness, um, you know, I think they would make the refills more like this 
And if somebody doesn't want a case, they don't have to use one. Right. I understand, you know, I personally would use a case, but I don't think that should be a decision that, uh, I think that's a decision for the consumer. Yes. Agreed. Good morning. Hey, Ronnie. Packaging component looks meh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good morning. Hi, Liz. Hi, Gia. How are you? I agree with you, Lexi, for sure. It needs to be something that we can decide for sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a new palette here. Oh, I haven't Did you get the handout already? No, it comes. A lot room. of people's have already arrived, and I just say, like, I ordered it before he even announced it was available because I randomly saw it was available on his site, and I'm still not getting it for like another week. <laughs> so I'm like so disappointed. I know. I have the new Byredo palette. Ooh, mine hasn't arrived yet. I didn't order mine right away because I was thinking the colors would be like too warm for me. Like they look kind of similar in the pictures, but okay. this looks so pretty. Can you see I it? had to get it. And by the way, if you are looking for this and you want to order from Selfridges, they're charging like state tax, but not duties on this item. So um, yeah, Selfridges has it, Neiman Marcus, Bergdorf's, and I think this Louis is, is sold out. This, I think the Bergdorf is, oh, Neiman sold out already? No, Bloomingdale's. Yes, Bloomingdale sold out, and I think Saks sold out. But Bergdorf still had it last night, and I think their promotion was working on it. Ooh, good but the call. Neiman's promotion was not working. So just check and yeah. see. Yeah, Marjorie loves the Fireado, and Ronnie's waiting for the Neiman Marcus gift card to come in. Oh, don't you love that? Okay, so. Mine arrived with this pan out and I called Bloomingdale's and was like, like the actual eyeshadow was out. I got it back in, but they were out of stock on this and they couldn't send me a new one. So I was like, no, but all the same, it's so pretty. And I'm really excited about this. I do have it on today, actually. It looks really nice. You tell? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I really, really am enjoying this. I haven't used all shades so far, but you know, the ones I have have been, they are soft. They are beautiful. Great, great shadows. So I am wearing, I'm wearing two, three shades on my eyes today and I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> okay. Sound off down below in the comments, which is, has been your favorite new release so far. We want to know. All right. As we continue to speak. <laughs> <laughs> well what's your favorite new release so far this year uh i don't know it's I hard i know i'm sorry <laughs> i just gave you guys really really hard questions <laughs> i i don't know either you know i can like name things that are favorites you know like a few things but to pick one thing i can't get there not yet like I can't get there. Are you crazy? <gasps> yeah. What do you want to? Oh, you want to talk about this? Oh yeah. Let's talk so about this that. is your first venture into this brand, right? Yes, this was my first Olivia Palermo. Yes. I was impressed. You know, like Gorgeous. it's interesting. You know, it's really I like the formula a lot. This is a really deep tone palette. You know, I would be interested in trying some lighter tone palettes. I have to say, though, the other ones she have, she has, you know, they look nude, but they still don't look light, per se. Sorry, the light's reflecting. Ah, there we go. I'm in natural light, and I'm, like, trying to use it to my advantage, but it's reflecting now. But, yes, it's super deep. It's super pretty. I'm not one to do super deep looks, but... It's really nice. Yes, Marjorie, mm -hmm. top three is fine. Orbe, Orbe hair serum, better than the Kirastas. Ooh. Ooh, I have to try that. I did order the Guerlain hair serum. I haven't tried it yet. It's here, I just haven't gotten to it. Oh yeah. 
But um, yeah, I'm curious to try that one because I guess you only use a few drops. You know, like it's, um, you know, it's not like a hair oil or something. You know, you put it in your scalp, but you only use a few drops, not like pipettfuls, like the Sicily serum and stuff. So huh. I'm curious. I'm really curious about that. Okay. Yeah. Liz says her favorite is the Tom Ford eyeshadow formula. That's definitely in my top as well. The Metal Lust. I'm surprised that isn't your top. It might be. I just, I don't know. I haven't thought about it enough. <laughs> I know it's hard. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. I mean, there have been so many really good things, but that's definitely my number one eyeshadow for sure. Uh, Ryan is asking Liz, which is your favorite? And she says, Rose Topaz or Metal Lust? Yeah, Rose Topaz is really gorgeous. Rose Topaz. Which one's that? The rose, the, um, it doesn't look rosy. It's like that neutral new cream shadow formula. Oh, Top yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, definitely metal less for me between those. Yeah. Personally. <laughs> Marjorie says her metal lust is finally on the way. And she, Ronnie says, I want to say the same, but those are the only two I asked. <laughs> I mean, look how much I use of this. Considering how much stuff we're always trying and everything, I've used quite a bit. <laughs> so. That's a lot, actually. Yeah. I, okay, so I am trying, I'm still trying these um, Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Glosses from Makeup by Mario. Mm -hmm. I don't like the packaging. No. But I kind of like it. I like the actual product a lot. I think it's a really nice product. I don't know why he ruined it with click style packaging <laughs> that does not go back down. Because why doesn't it go more, back down? But I don't want to because of the packaging. I want to try more shades for sure. But they were like sold out everywhere. Yeah. I mean. By the way, I was looking on Sephora last night and the Givenchy Marble lip glosses are loaded on there. It says um, March 10th. Mm. So those are coming. Very exciting. I might have to get those. Yeah, you like, should. I'm still in I mean. Christmas mode. My last two months have just flown by. So I have, I'm still in, I don't even know where January, February went. And I'm not sad about it because to me, those are just like the blah months. <laughs> <laughs> we have like no winter here <laughs> so like Ooh, i'm not I a huge have, winter person I but i winter? like having winter did what? you say i didn't have a winter no i said i didn't i mean yeah we had snow we actually had more snow than we usually get but you know it was like it's so short <laughs> so, we had like a brief period of time that was really cold but usually it's spread out longer so it was really brief. <laughs> I'll call Lexi sometimes and I'll be like, Lexi, guess that. It's going to be 72. And she's like, that's way too hot for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 70s is fine. I just, I can't go to 80. <laughs> 80s a little too Oh, hot no, for me. 80s are for me. Well, if you're in the shade, 80s fine. <sighs> so. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's see. Givenchy, Gia says, uh, Givenchy is her favorite lipstick formula still. Oh, hey, Manira. Lexi, you will, very soon, you will need to have room dedicated to all your lipsticks. <laughs> I know. It's getting really bad. I was trying to figure out how to organize things yesterday <laughs> because I've been keeping things mostly in drawers, like lying flat, um, but I've had to layer them. <laughs> and I hate layering them because then you can't see everything as well. I still haven't, like, I don't even know where to, I put stuff away, but yeah. But I've been good. I resisted some lipsticks I wanted to buy. Good. Um, so the YSL, let's see here. Maybe. I only bought two of, I bought one of the new shades and one of the old shades of the YSL, what are they? The Bambi something? No, I didn't buy those. The other ones that just came out. I mean, it's not a new formula. It's oh, formula. the, um, but the new shades. I know what you're talking about. The sh They're the shiny ones, not the bad. bombs. Yeah, the bombs. I don't know where I put mine right now, but I've been wearing it a ton. <laughs> so I I like those, but they're very much like the Rouge Coco Flashes. Yeah. 
but I um, think they have better color choices. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, because Chanel leans warm. The thing that I would knock about this new Chanel release is that they need some cooler shades. To they do. From. And some I more mean, lighter shades. Everything's so just always very red. <laughs> so, yes. Which, and I you like know, reds. looks fantastic, but, you know, there's only so many you need. I, I probably bought too many, but I really like all the ones I bought. So I, I really like them too. I want to try more actually. Um, I would like to get more, but I'm not going to at this time. I'm yeah. lipstick. I've got too many lipsticks. <laughs> no. But, no one can um, have too many. Yeah. Anybody know what's up with Guerlain for spring? Like, was the Legendary Reds collections considered their spring launch? They usually have like a spring meteorites and the spring lipsticks and yes. nothing this year. I haven't seen anything. I check their site like every day. Yeah. But my favorite lipstick, like seriously, one of my favorites of all time is still the shade from last year's spring collection. Mm. This is um, number had, 76. It had those pink pearls. Was that this year or the year, last year? Yeah, it's the year pink year. pearly one. Uh-huh. This one was last year's. I love it. Fenty has a new, has a nice formula, Ronnie says. The new Fenty lips, the re refillable, I haven't tried those. Now, that's interesting. Yeah, I haven't really. tried them yet either. And then Gia says, definitely all very dark shades with Chanel. Yes, you're correct. Hi, Daphne. Yes, too many reds. We need new shades. Totally agree with you. Totally agree with you. Um, now I have heard rumors that they're close to, um, announcing a new creative director. So hopefully when that happens, I mean, I'm sure it won't be instantaneous, but hopefully that means they will start having some more adventurous color stories. Right. Um, you know, cause that's actually my, my drawback to the tweed palettes that are coming as well. Like I love the design and finish. They've got nice colors too, but they lean warm and they're kind of all colors we already have. Yeah. So I'd like to see something a little bit more interesting. Yeah, I'm like obsessed with those new tweets. <laughs> see, they look like, really pretty. I'm like, I, and I, I will be getting them. I like, just, I wish they, I mean, how nice would it have been if they had something with some like brighter colors? See, but not this red. Is right for me. Like, this is like intense. Well, that's for me. dark. Oh, I know. It's but really like, like my favorite Chanel quad is like Empreinte du Désert from 2016. Yeah. You know, if they had a nice green like that in there. I love and... green. We need more green. You know, green is like a big color this year, fashion yes. wise. Mm -hmm. It should, we should be a totally more green <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I wear a lot of green. I try to switch my color so people don't think I'm wearing the same thing all the time. I know. But, like, I literally have so many green and purple tops <laughs> and navy blue. It's, like, ridiculous. Ronnie, yes. New formula. I got one. It's a neutral brown. Yes. I love neutral browns. It doesn't pull orange or purple. It's a dry brown. Oh, nice. Let me. What, it, oh. with, what is she talking about? Um... The Fenty. Let me know what oh, state okay. that is for sure, because I would love to try that. I'm, yeah. Okay, I will. Okay, let's talk about this. Kosas Foundation. Okay. Um. <laughs> so I, I'm, I just filmed my review on it, but I'll give you like a sneak peek. <laughs> well, your skin looks good. This is what I'm wearing. Thank you. Thank you. Um. It's pretty. I will say the hard part with this in anything in general is that this is was the hardest thing to shade match online. But I think I got it pretty spot on, to be honest. It's a little like it's not like light light, but it's almost like the shade of my neck. <laughs> And I know that's like what you're supposed to do, but I always feel a little bit, you know, just a little, you know, like it doesn't have to be like terrible, like terribly matchy for me personally, because it's not. I can never get a 100% perfect match. <laughs> so. I know, right? But this but is naturally like my face, facial skin and my neck skin don't match regardless. 
you know. Yeah, I think that's for everybody though, right? Yeah, most people. Yeah. So anyways, this matches my neck. I really like it so far. So um, yeah, be on the lookout. I have a video coming soon about that. I'm trying okay. to oh. seek you. Oh, yes. Okay, so tell me about the seek you. Um, well, not too much to tell. This is my first time wearing it, but so far I really, I really like it. Like it has a really beautiful finish. I've only had it on for a few hours so far today. So we'll see. I'm filming a wear chest today. Oh, look. Oh, I have to be on the lookout. I'm excited <laughs> to see that because I really want to try that one as well. Yeah. Wow, I don't know if you can see a difference between the size of my face, but I can powdered versus not. I can powdered. tell. I can tell which one's powdered actually. Which one? The one on your well, your right is powdered. Yeah, it's yeah. actually the Hermes powder, which I think is just. I really like it. But I do too. The mm -hmm. new Hermes, the white powder that's yeah. translucent. Mm -hmm. Like when I first put my brush in, it was like a lot of product came up on my brush. So oh, I was like, that did not happen to me. What brush did you use? Probably the wrong one. <laughs> I mean, I still, I, my, my lines in here, you can't even tell that I've used it. If you look, I, I, I used, um, I used a Sonia G like a, a brush, you know, like that's the one I used. <laughs> the mask like, I, like, <laughs> I must have yeah, just no, later. Hold on, let me grab mine because mine is like, I have these drawers over here, guys. So hold on. Let me grab this stuff. It looks terrible. <laughs> um, this is like the new setup that I'm trying to still figure it all out. So give me a second. Okay, here it is. I found it. <laughs> it's not rolling. <laughs> okay. So yeah, look, look, Lex. Hold on. Oh, that's not the brush I used. I used the master face, the blue one that you were holding out. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of product. Yours doesn't do that? I don't, maybe, it, I don't know. I don't remember having that much. I already put it in the bathroom to wash, so I don't have oh. it here. But, um, yeah. I mean, it gets, yeah, I just don't think it was that much. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. Uh... Oh, thanks, Stephanie. Oh, number eight, Major Magnate. Okay. Oh, thanks, Stephanie. The foundation looks really good. Thank you. Lexi, so excited for you. Thanks. I have another foundation review tomorrow. I mean, Yay! Yes, yes. <laughs> Marjorie says she's so overwhelmed with the new foundations I'm waiting to purchase. It's crazy. Tomorrow I've got the Givenchy Matte and the Clay de Peau Radiant Cream coming. I just... I, I put it not. together because it was just too many, too many things. And I got the Clay de Poe primer too. The, really the, the, um, the bright Poe. enhancer veil. Um, oh, wow. You have Suka foundation. Do you like this or Clay de Poe's new cream foundation? The, the two of them are completely different and cannot be compared. <laughs> oh, the new Suka. The new Suka. Suka. Compared to that. Yeah, wow, the, I mean, the Suku is liquid is more comparable to the like radiant matte and radiant natural formulas at, or like the coconut aqua formula. Which I love. Yeah, me too. Gia, <laughs> yeah, you're too funny. Mm -hmm. Who, me? <laughs> or Lexi? <laughs> Probably Lexi. <laughs> I can't read the comments, so I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> oh, Gia. Uh, Gia or Gia? Gia? That's right, right? I'm sorry, Gia, if I'm saying that right. You were, she said you are too funny. <laughs> All right. Oh, can I talk about something else that's, mm -hmm. um, or you go. Sorry, you go. Me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I was going to mention, I haven't talked about these on my channel at all, but the Danessa Myricks uh, Chrome Eyeliners, I've been wearing these like nonstop. I love the reflective colors. So, and they work in your waterline. So like some of the lighter ones are just really cool. Like this one here is Lilac Quartz. And I mean, look at that. Oh. It's like so cool for, it's like got this blue violet shift. Yes. And 
it works in your water line. So it just gives it like a little something extra. I have um, the emerald one on today, but you know, I just, I think they're kind of cool. Formula wise, they're not as creamy as I thought they were going to be. They're kind of like around the um, Chanel Stilo Yo, oh, okay. like that kind of texture. So they're like that. I have to say they're kind of small though. They're smaller than I thought, <laughs> but yeah. I, I really like them. So, um, and the packaging is kind of cool too. You can see yeah, like the really color cool. on the bottom is the color of the thing, but it's like reflective. So you can see a little bit, uh, you know, it's not a true duochrome thing, but they tried. And so that's kind of cool. Like she this one's the tried. one I use the most. It's like Car Cara White. I'm not sure how to say it. That's really but, pretty. Yeah. This is my favorite. I use this one all the time. It's like a deep purple with uh, like, yeah, blue and even like a touch of green in there when you hit the light right. I haven't so. seen those. Are those on? I mean, I saw them on when they first. They're came only off. on Danessa Myrick's site. Not on Sephora. Them anywhere else. But I have to say, like, I kind of want to try her new Yummy Skin foundation. Stuff. I do too. I mean, right? but I mean, foundation overload, man. What is so? This? I have this thing against buying things made in China, so. They recently changed like, you know, how all of that stuff works. So now it's like, cause it used to be kind of like, if you, if it's made in China, you know, then it's definitely tested on animals and you know, all this right. different stuff. Um, they've kind of changed some of that now. So you have to look at it on a case by case basis. So like the palace identity stuff that they sent me, I haven't tried that yet, but you know, I looked at that. They apparently do not test on animals either, I believe. I have to double check that though. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, basically you can, like, if you have like your own factory or something like that, you can have different rules or <laughs> something like that. I don't really know the details. Please don't quote me on any of this. <laughs> but um, it does make me feel a little bit better about using something like Danessa Myricks or the Palace Identity. So I kind of look into it now more on a case by case basis. So yeah. I think I'm going to try Virginia. the Danessa Myricks. Hi, Mernie. Oh, Munira says, do you think the Hinesh Palette will arrive at Beautylish? It's limited edition. Yes, but I think everything except Boy Tears is going to be at Beautylish, um, yeah. but not for a little while. And Liz says the Danessa Myers uh, My eyeliners are so pretty. Yeah, I really like them. Yeah. And by the way, for people who are international and want to order from Hindosh, you know, I saw a post on, I forget who it was, but, uh, you know, somebody in Canada who had bought it and got slapped with tons and tons of duty fees on top of the shipping costs and everything. So, you know, wait for Beautylish. <laughs> Oh no. I forget who it was, but Pam shared the post with me. I remember reading that. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ronnie says wondering the same about the beauty lish. So hopefully so, so everything on his site is the only the boy tears highlighter is listed as exclusive. Right. Nothing else is listed as exclusive. So I think it'll go to other retailers, well, beauty lish, um, in a little while. Yeah. Um, what else? I mean, honestly, there's so much and there are so many things still coming out too. Like Lisa Eldridge has new lipsticks coming out mm -hmm. with a new formula. Yeah. So I think I might pick up one or two of those because I'm curious, but I'm kind of over the brand at the moment, to be honest, because I of too. just the fact that all my velvets are pretty much broken. The majority of them have broken. Um, my, my other ones don't break just the velvet formula, and it's but so I just feel like with the last launch and the issues I've had with the blushes and stuff, I don't know. I'm kind of tired of, kinda, yeah, I, yeah. I, I think it's probably not for me, but I am curious about the new lipstick formula. So I'll yeah. probably get a couple. Yeah. And then Chanel. Yes. The Chanel LeBlanc. I mean, like, it's kind of crazy that some people are still, you know, I guess I could, my boutique near me is selling the Camellia highlighter. I could go there and get it, but I feel kind of like bad. I have it reserved with Jalissa in Miami. So, you yeah. know, I feel like, Same. you know, 
yeah, th that's where I said I'd buy it. So, but it's just, it's kind of silly how you've got it available pretty much everywhere else in the world now, except here. I know. And even here, there are still places that are selling it, which are technically not supposed to be. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. At least from what I understand, they're not supposed to be. Um, people said they're over at Lisa or Gia said she's over. Hey, Diane, uh, Lisa Eldridge. Uh, when is the new Chanel highlighter coming? I'm waiting. March 16th, I believe. But I'm not positive. They change Tentative. dates all the time. But um, that was the latest date that I heard. Basically, it's ready to be launched. Um, not all boutiques have it, but most of them have it now. Right. The problem is they don't want to launch it without the rest of the LeBlanc collection. And there were production issues with something in the collection. So nobody has the rest of the collection yet. I think I'm going to pass on the eyeshadow palette, though. I probably am too, just because I don't need it. I like it though. Like I'm, it's a little warmer than what I would expect, but I'm curious about it. Um, I just think I probably don't need it. I'll probably just stick with the highlight. Yeah. Well, some of those nail colors. Yeah. Really maybe pretty. the nail polishes. Although you guys don't want to see how many nail polishes <laughs> I have. It's not as bad as lipsticks, but it's kind of close. She loves <laughs> nail polishes. Ronnie says... Charlotte Holcroft, she thinks Charlotte Holcroft said $7, but that's UK. And then Virginia says she's waiting for something new from Surat. It's been a while. And Munira says, me yeah, too, over Lisa I'm Eldridge. Curious. Uh, Ronnie, I'm not sure if it's feeling, oh, I'm not sure, same, Gia, not sure if it's product overload. I'm feeling same about Pat McGrath, too. And then Diane Although says, I got the the dark star kit that she released because you know i couldn't resist that color <laughs> <laughs> and then Diane says i'm getting really picky on what to purchase has to be really good i i get that for sure and then virginia says she's going to pass on chanel this time around yeah i think i'm just gonna probably just get the highlighter yeah so and then the, the lipsticks, I, I don't need those. I'd rather get these new ones anyway. <laughs> I, I would too. Like, I want to get more shades of them. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have my video. I feel like I'm so behind. <laughs> I feel like I'm behind too. And I'm, I don't know. I kind of am, but I'm kind of not. Yeah. You're doing really well. I mean, I'm putting out tons of content. <laughs> just, everything comes at once. So I'm it's like, hard to decide. Uh, you are not behind. I'm on. Um, hi, Sylvie. Good morning. And Daphne says she got the dark star kit too. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I, I can't wait to try it. I think it looks want. so <laughs> Oh, I didn't bring it up, but I ordered all this stuff from um, Sugar Drizzle, which came in. I got all of these um, liquid eyeshadows and stuff that look really awesome. I haven't tried one yet, but. Ooh, I can't wait to try those. Those look really pretty. Oh, and then Lexi was telling me I need to try the Phytosurgeons brand. So mm -hmm. she thinks that those won't smudge on me. Because well, I'm happy they don't. don't. Well, I mean, I've talked to other people with oily lids who say they don't smudge on them. So we shall see. But they are fantastic. This one's Magnetic Maple. I love their Girl, new you Weather that for me? I'm sorry. Can you <laughs> What did you say? Can can you do a little swatch party right now? Here's Magnetic Maple. This is like the lightest from the Weathered Woods collection. Mm. It's like a, a light taupe. I like that. A and, little... Oh, I wonder if that would be like the Chanel, um, you know, the moon one. I don't have that shade. You don't have that shade? No. I thought it... I, I forget which ones I did have, but I mean, it's like weird here. This, um, pewter pine shade is like purpley. Oh, okay. I'm going to try them. Yeah. These are really good. I think. Yeah. So new moon, I have a new one right here because it's amazing. <laughs> But this is this is what Lexi and I do. <laughs> and it's already like, oh no, it's like a little um 
Oh, there we go. It was a little like, all right, let me, let me show you. Look at this. Part. No, it was like, can you see? Yeah. Now that is way darker than anything like this. And that's all warmer. Right. This is more like silvery. It actually reminds me more of one of the Chanticleer Mermaid shadows, the Triton shade, which I think I have right here. Yes. Oh, it has like silver sparkle with purple undertones and oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So here's Triton. Which, which brand? Top. Chanticleer Triton versus Magnetic Maple. Oh, yeah. I like that, too. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I'm sorry. I'm behind. Oh. Uh, oh, I'm really behind. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, so what does everybody think about the new um, Suku pre-summer and summer collections? We're oh, just... Anyone getting new by Radio Palette? Laura. I got it. I have it on my eyes right now. Can you see? Mine's still on the way, but I got it too. Can't wait to try it. <laughs> so pretty. Um, never bought anything from um, Vonda03. Never bought anything from Lisa. Shocking. Rhaenyra ordered the Byredo. Lexi, did you get the sugar drizzle liners Ronnie asked? No, they were all sold out. But I want to get them because I read that they are, um, I don't know if it was them or not, but somebody compared them to them or, yeah. Anyway, I think they're going to be like the Danessa Myricks, but creamier. So I want to try them, but yeah. they are all sold out of the liners. So I got the latest eyeshadow palette and a ton of liquid shadows. <laughs> what had happened was <laughs> well you know they had a bundle set so i got that but then i wanted some shades that weren't in the bundle set so i got those two. Oh my god! you know you had to pay for shipping anyway so it's like oh well, might as well just get it all at once so on. i don't have to place two orders uh laura asks has anyone tried dior capture total i got some samples it's quite nice are you talking about the foundation? skincare or do they have like a foundation product? Because I got some of the skincare samples, but I haven't tried them yet. And then Sylvie said, not a fan of Lisa's seem to fail for me. Um, yeah, I think when Lisa first came out with her line, it was very different and unique, her lipsticks. But I think now, I mean, it's been years. So I know. It's been a long time, actually, because I didn't even, I can't remember if my oldest was even born then or not, but my youngest definitely wasn't. <laughs> so it's definitely been a while. I just feel like other brands have sort of caught up and gone past her. Yeah, I agree. Marjorie said, I love the phytosurgeons from your video, Lexi. You need to place an order. Yeah, they're really great. Sign up for their emails. They have sales once in a while, but... Honestly, anytime they release a new collection, they sell out like right away. I think this Weathered Woods collection, they've restocked it like three or four times already, but it's sold out, you know, within a few hours on the day of the release. Wow. It's a, a small company, so, you know, they yeah. don't have tons. But that's awesome for them, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Oh, um, Dior Capture Total, it's beautiful on the skin, Virginia says. Sylvie says, the NARS palette looks really nice. This is in the same color story as Byredo, I think. I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen a new NARS palette either. Um, people are asking which NARS. Uh, oh, try to cos it cosmetic shadow sticks. Meh, Ronnie says. Oh, um, I, yeah, I haven't tried those. I've heard mixed reviews on those as well um wonder awesome wonder if the shadows are smooth or um are you talking about Barreto, laura sorry i'm just catching up here because they are amazing but i haven't used them all so that's like very first impressions <laughs> i'm like don't take my word for it for every single shade um oh liz says she wants 
the new Suku blushes. I want more of those. They are gorgeous, beautiful, amazing. Yeah. I I would say I want more of them, but now I have all of them. So. Laura <laughs> was saying it's the number the one. I, just, I haven't opened it yet. Sorry. Um, Laura said it's a skincare for um, Dior. Okay. That, I just got samples of the in my um, Dior order. Yeah. Oh, Jen, how the formula glow rate is mostly glitters or some satin. Honestly, there's a lot of glitter. I mean, not like glitter, glitter, but, um, you know. Not like the pressed glitters in the nugget palette, right? No. You just mean like sparkly? No, 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 no. And you got some good mattes. Now, I have, can you see this white kind of shade? I have that in the corner. Very, whoops, as I get makeup on my nose. Um, I was touching the shadows. And it's very, it's very buildable, very buildable. So it's not like bam, but you can like really play with it. And just look how pretty that is. I'm really liking this so far. Now, I know people are like, oh, it's really warm. There's some shades, yes they're warm, but then you have like some, like this one here. That one looks really pretty. This one reminds me of the Givenchy holiday. It's just so pretty. So here are some just like, look how gorgeous these are. So yes, some. Some are glittery, some are shimmery, some are matte, some are light in pigment, some are deep in pigment. Um, I would say it is a warmer tone palette though, for sure. Um, uh, okay. I love the Carlos story, the new by Rico. Okay, I'm I'm up to date. So, <laughs> I felt bad. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so behind. So uh what else? We were talking about the new merit lipsticks. Okay. I like them. I like them too. I have two shades. They sent them to me, but I know people have talked about how they've had to do it in exchange for a video and stuff and I did not. Uh, they just sent them to me. I can post them if I want to or if not. So I thought that was very Same. nice of the brand. Same. So um, I was like, I am moving, guys. I don't know if I will be able to do anything. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I was just like, yeah. And but they sent them. It was very nice of them. Yeah. Very kind. So I actually really um I'm really enjoying them. I, I think they are really them. nice. I I like the, the packaging. packaging. Yeah. I haven't put them in a video yet, but I have been wearing them. And yeah, I really like them. This is a, the shade um, Fashion, and I have to say it's a little bit deeper than I thought it was going to be. Ooh, it's always backwards. Like a plum. Yes. So it's it's really pretty on, though. Yeah. Hey, Jane. I like those two, Lexi. I really do. Okay, can we talk about a little Jones Road action? I put up oh, a sure. I mean, shameless plug. I just put up a video on it. So, um, <laughs> sorry. Are we talking about the flesh bomb? Yeah. Okay. I got, I got eye, eyeliners too. <laughs> to share. No, both flesh I bought and the eyeliners. eyeliners also. I had one from a holiday kit and I the bought Onyx? the other two new ones. Yeah, Onyx. I had the Onyx. It was in one of the holiday kits. Yeah. And Ivy and Violet I picked up. Along yeah. with this. Look how, so, like, okay. I hate to say, I'm really liking this. <laughs> look how much I've used the black liner. Hold on. I, look how little it is. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I did use up my brow pencil from them. I, I can't find mine right, right now. now. I'm kind of upset about it. <laughs> I, can't, I really can't. I. I don't know what's wrong. Does anybody have any word on the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel? Is it coming back or like what's going on? This one? Yeah. 
I don't know. It's still listed on Sephora. But it's not there. Yeah. And it's been like, I mean, it's got to be close to a year now, right? Yeah. At, at least in summer when it was gone like everywhere. Hold on. I'm going to find. But yeah. Um, definitely some things. So when I bought the Valentino lipsticks, you know, I kept seeing on the website that you could get it engraved. And I was like, oh, well, I don't want to pay for engraving or anything. The engraving's free. I didn't even realize that. Um, I guess I, I just didn't really play around on the site to see how to do it. But if you order from the Valentino site, you can actually get your lipsticks engraved for free. It just uh -huh. takes like an extra week or something. So oh. I wish I had done that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm still wearing these a lot. Let's see. Hold on. I just placed... Oh, you did? You just placed a Jones Friend order yesterday. Oh, awesome. Okay, so this is the balm. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. I love it. I love it. I like this one because I can use it as blush. I still do not have the hang of the other balms. Yeah. Um, but this one I really like because I think it's a really beautiful, like, soft pink. I love it. Love it, love it. Um... I'm just like, let's just add more. More is more. <laughs> the bomb is enormous. Yes, you're right, Ronnie. It's very big. Yeah, they should make the small sizes like permanent, but. I know. I don't know. Let's see. Thank you so much. Both of you are so funny and enormous. <laughs> oh, so Thanks. sweet. I was in a pretty sphere here. <laughs> I tried the Jones. Laura says she's trying Jones from Balm. It was too tacky on the skin. Didn't set down. Sometimes it can be. Um, I say, and I, I personally always say you're either going to love this or you're going to hate this product. I mean, it is not for everybody. Um, but I um, personally love it. I don't, you don't need a lot though. Like just a little bit. And you can put powder over it too. So, um, that's what I do on it. You can put powder over it. You can put powder under it. Um, the video I just did kind of gives a lot of like ways that I use the bomb. So, um, there were a lot of questions about that. So just an FYI. This is a mini size versus the big size. I know it's such a huge difference. And you know, eight and a half grams was, versus 50 grams. Wow. But these have an 18th month shelf life. So, so I have to say, like, I, I don't know how to use any of the bombs properly, except for the flushed, like the other ones. I just, you know, I have not loved them yet. Um, but I, use them on top of like irritated skin, you know, like from like, I had, I, I get allergic to some like weeds and stuff that come through from my, they come through my fence from my neighbor's yard. So when I pull them, I often end up getting an allergic reaction. Even when I wear gloves, I How do you I feel about that? that I hit myself. Lexi, what? sorry. Hold on. I didn't interrupt you. But how do you feel about it coming through the fence from your neighbor's yard? I mean, I don't really care, to be honest. <laughs> so, <laughs> She's it's like, annoying, but, you know, my, my neighbors don't do anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this, is hel this helped, though. Like, I used um, the lighter shade, the, and it, it helped with the, like, itchiness and the, yeah. like, little rash that I got from it. So. Yeah. Oh, Ronnie says... A Tom Ford store in Sac. Wait, Tom Ford in Sac, San Antonio, told me it was in stock at the store. Hmm. Okay, so it's not being discontinued. I didn't know if they were like reformulating it or something. Yeah. Diane says she ordered a new flush shade, put powder down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jr. looks beautiful on my oily skin. It would be a hot mess. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it would be a hot mess, but if you have oily skin, I think it would be harder to use. Um, good idea. So, yay! So glad it was helpful. And then the eyeliners are really pretty too. Um, these were gifted, by the way. This is the violet, yeah, violet. 
There was and the a, violets matte, the ivy is shimmery. And so yes, I this, tend to go for the shimmery ones more. The ivy is like green. Can you see that okay? I feel like there's a reflective guess on it, but um that one and then this is so cool. The onyx has the silver, it's like silver sparkle and mm -hmm. more of a charcoal deep charcoal color right mm -hmm. so those three are beautiful they i they're good yeah i really like them um okay have you tried this no the milk makeup i'm still trying it um what is it? Milk what? Oh, it's the mascara. Sorry. Oh, okay. It's the mascara. I'm still trying it. It's like, it wasn't like fab on first use, but it's not bad. You, you know, know I'm mean? liking the YSL Lash Flash. Like on first use, was it like, oh, this is good. The YSL? Yeah. I thought so. Okay. I've used it, you know more than once but uh, okay. I've used it quite a bit actually I I like that one yeah I don't know if it's like actually a favorite or not yet but I think it's a good it's a good mascara okay I mean I have the small sample size I'm curious about that one though there's been a lot of mascara releases recently you know which one mm -hmm. is really good like okay so there's a new brand called, called Gen C Beauty. Have you heard of that brand? So they sent me some things and I, um, just to try, no, you know, don't even have to talk about it, but they sent me some things in the mascara. I was like, oh, it's a mascara. I might try it. Da, da, da. Um, it's pretty good. Like, good. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I love that for like, a newer brand like if they have a product that's like a kind of more of a standout product you know i haven't tried everything or anything yet i don't know time but i try the mascara i'm like dang it's pretty good so i don't know it's exciting ronnie says the id looks a lot like chantecaille fall singles yeah yep um speaking of chantecaille they're supposed to come out with that lipstick that other lip cheek this month. Yeah. Haven't seen that yet. I haven't either. So we'll see when that comes out. And then in April's the blush. I'm not getting that. I'm not either. I, I don't like that style of packaging. Yeah, I'm afraid. I don't, not afraid, but I just. I, I think know. the color is pretty, but. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I don't like the power in the packaging and you can't control how much power comes out and then it's yeah. like then you got a big blob here you know i don't know so mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah if i had it i'd have to just like decant it in something with a sifter true yeah, yeah. like the givenchy loose powder blushes which i love those yeah i think those you know in some ways it's actually easier to put those on nicely than a pressed blush I agree that they are messy. For they me. can be. Yeah. I'm pretty I'm try the YSL. Oh, has anyone tried Calorie? Yes. It's really good, Marjorie. It's really good. I really love the Calorie mascara. I just bought a full size. I tried a small one first and then I purchased that. I have new Calorie. Oh, I have that to review too. The new, um, foundation well it's like a tinted moisturizer i picked up lexi I, I should just do a haul video i picked up this faith um rare beauty soft blush pinch blush and oh, okay I, the purple one yeah because i picked up the purple new sticks one too <laughs> that i can't find right now but yeah <laughs> you have to let me know how it is I'm so organized, so organized. Okay. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> that is 
Well, I mean, you're definitely going to have to buff that out. <laughs> so, hold on. What do we think about that? Should I put it on top? Oh, okay. That was like not a lot, and that's a lot. Mmm. It is fabulous, Laura. Have y'all tried these like purpley blushes? I guess it's the in thing. Anyone? So I just took my microfiber cloth and wiped away my swatches so I don't get makeup on me. But look, you can see the Danessa Myricks. They are still there. My darker one did smudge a little bit, you know, like the edges. Uh -huh. The lighter one really didn't. But look, my phytosurgence is still there. My Chantecai is mostly gone. That's at the top here. Oh, gosh. That's but, amazing. Yeah, I mean, they're they're definitely lighter, but you still see them. I love the blush color too. Thank you, Ronnie. Oh, and um before we sign off, Lexi, I want to share mm -hmm. my fragrance today. Oh, so I can't this see is what it is. Aqua de Parma Magnolia Noble. Very nice. I it smells so good, and I got it in Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still testing all of my Byredo samplers because I bought the sampler set. Oh yes, um, but yeah, I don't good. put fragrance on every single day. I don't I either. Know. I'm like, I wish I could be like really good about that but I just forget yep <laughs> so is new Bobby brown cream blush good Lexi's tried them yes okay I really like them I ended up buying all four of them I've used two of them so far I haven't used the browner ones but um oh, I got mine dirty the um pink punch I really like it I mean, they go on nicely. I was looking at the consistencies of them all yesterday, and they all seem pretty consistent, except my, I think it's this one here. This is the tool, which is just a little bit, a little Thicker. drier in consistency. Like I have to push a little bit harder to get it out. It's so mm -hmm. creamy. It, mm -hmm. it feels, you know, pretty much, it feels just as creamy, like to the touch, but just have to like push a little bit more. But the thing that I like about these is they give you like this, like glowy sheen, mm -hmm. but yet they aren't sticky. There's a little tackiness to them. They do not completely dry down, but they do kind of set down. Mm -hmm. So they don't really budge and they just look really fresh. So this pink punch, you can see, is still more of like a corally pink. Like it's mm -hmm. not a cool pink. Um, it's, I really like it. I have it on in tomorrow's video, actually. So it's, and that's the other good thing. I, I, they, um, I have not had issues with them with any of the different foundations that I've tried. Oh, them. nice. I've tried them with three different foundations because I've only worn them three times so Yeah, far. I want to try them but, so bad. Yeah. That you should get them look fantastic. Okay. Um, Selfridges today. has them, but they have duties, so they're best from look fantastic. What is that and they like have that? a deal going on right now? I forget what it is. I think, yeah. I think it's like um 20% off, maybe. Okay. I'm gonna take a look at that because I really have been wanting to try those. I just hadn't taken the plunge yet. Yeah, um, I really like them. Uh Aqua de Parma has beautiful, yeah, they do. I'm dying to know what mumbai noise smells like i have that one no by radio counters near me and that was ronnie yeah i have that sample but my room's a disaster so i <laughs> not sure where i i separated them all into different categories you know like some that are like I'm never going to wear Yeah, <laughs> some that I like, some that I, you know, I have them all like separated out as I'm trying to narrow it down. Cause if you buy the sampler set and you get all of their fragrances in the little like sample vials, but like this, 
So you'll get, I think it's like 24 of these. So cool. But you get a coupon for a full size, like a 50 mil. And you have like six months to use it. So I'm trying to narrow it down because I think it's been like three, almost four months already since you I don't know if it's from when I Lexi. ordered it or when I received it. Because it was pre-order when I ordered it, which would take off a month. <laughs> so. You need to get on that. I know. I'm working on <laughs> it. It's hard, though. Like, I yeah. found several that I really like. And it's just like, well, which one do I want to use my coupon on? Yeah. Oh, Laura says you can get a free sample of that fragrance from Vibrator if you order something from them. Like the Calamari palette. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, it's weird. The palette's more expensive on the Byredo website. I know. That's weird. It's like $102. Although maybe they don't have tax to your state. So yeah. check that. Their headquarters are here for me. So um, yeah. But you can usually select two fragrance samples. That's nice. Yeah. So they usually have just the, the classics. But yeah. Mumbai Noise is definitely almost always there. I just got new, the new Byredo lipstick. It's in my purse. Well, new for me. I forget the name. What was it? Well, you used Earth Dust in your store. Earth Dust, yes. But you told me you had Commuter, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I do have another one, but I can't. Yeah. I'm so, um, I'm still unpacking, y'all. It's um, a work in progress over here. Work in progress. Um, yeah. So Lexi, I think that covers today's, did y'all enjoy this? Let us know in the comments below if you guys love this, if you like this style, it's just kind of us kind of. Yeah, do you prefer lives or not live? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we enjoy chit chatting and this is just fun for Lexi and, and me. So um, we really love it and you enjoyed it, Laura? Oh, good. Um, that means so much to us. And if you guys wanna join us on uh, Geneva, just let us know. We'll leave, um, I'll put all the stuff in the description box after we're done on how to sign up and things like that. The first two weeks are free. So if you guys want to try it out and join us over there, we, it's like our community and we do Wednesday evening chats, like chatting on the phone, um, every Wednesday at 8 PM Eastern standard time. So it's a lot of fun and we get to just kind of chit chat and enjoy each other's company and kind of it's almost like you can put, uh, you can have like a, a video chat. You can have, which we do have parties, which are really fun. We're having a. a yeah, once a month, we'll have a St. Patrick's Day party. St. Patrick's Day party. <laughs> and then um, we did like Valentine's Day party last, last month and things like that. So it's a lot of fun. And we just love for to have you guys. So um, let us know. And uh, like, if you have any questions or anything, just DM us on Instagram and uh, we can help you if you have any questions about that. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Oh, thank you, Laura. She said you have a great chemistry together. Reminds me of an abbreviated girls night. Well, come join us, Laura, because we have so much fun um, <laughs> as well. So thank you guys yeah. so much and we'll see you next week. All bye. right, bye.